Join me to find out why I go from loving this Wolverine to hating this Wolverine. When I reviewed this Jubilee, I asked you if you had $200, would you buy eight Marvel Legends figures or would you buy one Mondo figure? Well, what if it was another $200 and a different Mondo figure? And <laughs> this time being uh, an exclusive version, okay? And technically it was under 200 bucks because I got this guy uh, on the third party market for $185, which is crazy. So below retail, and it was unopened in the original brown box, which is crazy. So this is actually from a set of figures that are uh, so exclusive, they're numbered. Look, and hand numbered. So that's the, the I can't, what is that supposed to say? <laughs> 32 something, D? <laughs> and yes, it is the Wolverine. It is a one six scale figure. And what's great about this Wolverine is that, uh, well, how do we open it? Over here. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's too good. It's it's a meme in figure form, folks. Come on. Now, the only thing that's weird about this is this like extreme empty space, but the fact it comes with a pillow, they didn't need to do that. But man, am I excited about this guy. And of course, this is the, you know, an incredible team of artists, not only from the sculpting, but to the painting and the box art. And we will go over who all that is, if it's on this box. So yes, this is a collector's model, not suitable for under 14 years old. If you're 13, sorry, you cannot have this, okay? Wait till you grow up like a big boy or girl. Or whatever. So this is just, it's a great package. This is the kind of package that I think, you know, an inbox collector would be very, very happy with. You may not want to open this thing, but am I going to open it? Of course I'm going to open it. And we're going to get a good old look at that. Now, this is great. <laughs> it is a screenshot from an old animation. So there is some pixelization going on in here. Look at that. These artifacts and stuff. So they were unable to get an original cell image, I guess, but whatever. We're not here for the package. Some people are, but here are the people involved. So these are different people. I don't know. I don't know Mike bon bon Bonanno and Hector Arce. I don't know these folks, but they were involved in a lot of this, which is really, really cool. And none of the original people are involved that from the, well, original, none of the people from the Jubilee one are involved from what I'm seeing here. So some new names to get familiar with and find these artists on the internet doing social media things so that you can enjoy more of the things that they do. Let's open this bad boy up somehow all right logan it's time to wake up buddy get out of bed we got some work to do and despite this incredible packaging you may think that it doesn't come with all the accessories but it does it still has all the other accessories that the other wolverine has now visually i don't know if there's any difference between this version and the one that isn't in the bed other than the obvious thing with the frame so let's just uh Let's get to work taking this thing apart and um, creating a packaging nightmare to put it back together. <laughs> oh boy, this is not one that you want to open. I'll just end the review now. So thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Two hours later. Was getting that thing out of the box uh, miserable? <laughs> yeah, because I didn't really want to damage the box and I still did and I still didn't really get it dis disassembled that well. I have it out. <laughs> this was under the bed. Oh my God, that was awful. Okay, so yeah, definitely not designed to be taken apart. <laughs> uh, there's tissue paper in here for some reason. I, it's kind of, it wasn't really separating anything, but whatever. They're trying to be nice. They're trying to uh, consider that you might want this stuff like really, really protected. So good on you, Mondo, you know what I mean? <laughs> And because I will use it in the posing segment, and I usually do, this dark stand here is actually a Play Arts Kai stand. It came with a figure, and I think you can get a hold of them separately. So just as a heads up, if you see it in the posing segment and you want to know, that's what it is, okay? Oh boy. Um, so yeah, this was kind of a, a neat approach here. So the plastic is on there, so it's in the package. You don't have to worry about this frame falling out of it while it's in shipment or anything. So this was uh, a cool uh, approach to make this meme figure <laughs> work so well. But oh boy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm already a fan of this thing, which I knew I would be, but I'm, I'm, uh, 
I just can't wait to get everything out of the packaging that I got left. So let's take it out. I guess I might as well take the pillow out of the box. So it even includes the do not remove manufacturer tag. <laughs> All right, so here is what we get in the exclusive set. Limited edition sad masked head, neutral masked head, angry masked head, Logan unmasked head, morph head. We get a picture frame with Scott and Jean photo, which is swappable, Thanksgiving turkey leg, claw energy with hands, interchangeable claws, seven interchangeable hands. We get two fists, two natural hands, one C grip, one Khmer hand, and one picture frame hand. Then you get a limited edition fabric pillow, bedroom box, diorama packaging, and a figure stand. Uh, this is this is a pretty wild setup, okay? So yes, you get some exclusive stuff, which I did call out, like his sad face, but um, the immediate number one top of the line issue that I had, have currently, it's still a problem uh, with this figure is this leg. What am I supposed to do about that? This is not gonna stand on his own, <laughs> like, oh my God. This one seems okay. It'll probably get loose, but this is pathetic. This is like, who was involved? Super 7? That's not right, that doesn't make sense to me. I thought this was a Mondo figure. Brian Flynn just came over and said, hey, you know what works really well for our stuff? <laughs> Legs where the figures can't stand on their own. But whatever, I guess most people are gonna keep this in the exclusive bed diorama. And you know what? Thank you so much for subscribing. I saw that you did that right before this part, so thank you, I appreciate it. Let's hang out and do more of these things together. But let's just look at the details because I'm a sad boy now. Let's look at Morph. That is a big old head, man. That is <laughs> crazy. So yeah, it looks good. Of course it does. It looks like Morph from the animated series. The paint is not as tight as I would like it to be. It's a little loose on the edges and stuff, but overall, I don't really even care about a Morph head. This is the last thing in the box that I would want. We get this fantastic unmasked head for Wolverine, which man, does that look good. Goodness sake. So the details of the sculpt are phenomenal and black outlines. Folks, look, anytime I've done a review of another brand that didn't do outlines on animated stuff, I call out the fact that outlines make a difference. And so look at this. This is substantially different. Substa I don't know what I'm saying, but it looks freaking good, man. We get the Thanksgiving Day turkey leg, which does look, <laughs> it looks great. It's got texture to it. So it looks like, uh, you know, meat. It's so uh, you get more texture here than you would in the animation. Let's look at the picture frame, which said that it is swappable. And I noticed that on the top of it, yes, it is swappable, but why? If you only get the one picture, do you want to put your own stuff in there? Just have a little fun. So, Okay, great. Now I have a, a, a figure of a meme that I am now able to change the image of to whatever I want. Okay, now this thing just got better and maybe made up for the fact that this little leggy doesn't work. But hey, genius move on Mondo's part to even just call that out. Neutral pose for Wolverine with his mask on. And of course it just looks so good. My goodness, I am very much a fan. <laughs> you couldn't tell already. And look at that one with the te teeth gritty, gritting guy. Gr he's got his teeth, his mouth is shut. <laughs> Words are not the best thing for me to use sometimes. And I need to just use my hands and, and just do this. That's better, right? I couldn't mess it up. We get these alternate hands. So we have this one, which is uh, basically the picture frame hand, but again, it's a little different. So what's up? What did the, what was this one? <laughs> oh, this, this is the, the, the Khmer hand. So he's, he's, he's ready to fight and probably, you know, against like Sabretooth maybe, who hopefully will make his way here one day. But that is saying, hey, look, come on, Bob. <laughs> and then you get this C hand, which is gonna be a perfect hand for holding that turkey leg. Uh, what else do you get? I forgot, uh, this one. The flat hand, which is ready to slap some folks. Okay, you know, you gotta have a slapping hand. And then you get this hand, which has the claws a little bit off. So, uh, I don't know, right? We got a loose leg, we got a claw that seems to be a potential issue. They don't come out, so you only get claw hands like this. You can't put them in those hands. 
You can remove these things, you just have to pull them out. And it's really a very, very tight fit. But as you can see, putting it here in this other hand, the Khmer hand, you can get them in there. It's just, it's not easy. It's a, it's a very tight grip. I'm not really a fan because you can't, sometimes the paint is so thick in there that you also can't really get them in. <laughs> it is confirmed that they do go in. Uh, that That's going to be an issue. Is, am I going to be able to heat that thing up with a hairdryer and try to like get it back into place? I don't know. I definitely don't want to break it. So during the posing segment, it's gonna look stupid. So don't pay attention to this left hand, okay? That's what I'm gonna say right now. But otherwise, if that would have been locked in place properly, is it a good looking claw hand? Yes, absolutely. And the two-tone cell shading, it does work. It's done methodically, meaning that like the highlights are here on this hand and you get shadows on this side of that hand. So it, it, it's intended to have this uniform look rather than just like, copy paste left and right side, which is great. The pillow, which we did, I mean, we already kind of looked at and it's simple, it's whatever. Who's gonna use the pillow? You get the stand, which is also basic and very much a like, hi, I collected dolls. Like I said with Jubilee, this is basically what our moms had with their colonial dolls. <laughs> and then this epic uh, thing. So now you get this incredible intro to the show in effect form and it's all attached it's a one piece thing you would kind of think that you could just have this piece made separately since it has claw holes and then just put it on those hands but whatever it's fine uh you get some awesome stuff i mean there's no <laughs> what am i trying to say hmm? i'm stumbling all over myself and all over my words what do i want to say here about this thing i am trying to say with my mouth that this is a value, okay? So you get claw hands and instead of just giving you an effect, you get extra claw hands. So, you know, it's 200 bucks or whatever the retail value was. I paid, again, 185. This thing is beautiful. We just gotta figure out those stupid legs. So let's look at Wolverine in all of his beautiful glory, okay? So you get this sad face, which I am very much a fan of, not only because of the meme, but because you get a different facial expression than an ex expected, right? You would normally just think you're gonna get a neutral, get an angry. I like having alternate faces. So sometimes it'd be cool to have like a surprise thing or something. And if you look right here, you'll actually notice that if you go to my Kofi website, you can actually become a channel member and get discounts on all the stuff that I offer and get exclusive content and all kinds of fun stuff like access to Discord. So go on over and become a member. <laughs> Isn't that right, Wolverine? Paint is not perfect. So there's like little chips and stuff. Kind of looks like he's got a, his nipple. <laughs> uh, there's a little so, little bit going on here as well. But overall, what was this? It was like a 2001 release or something. There's some blue, blue is kind of rubbing off. Yikes. Uh, so it's it's certainly not perfect. I, again, I think if, if if somebody was buying this thing and keeping it in the box, you'd, probably, you just, you'd never know about these imperfections and you'd just be a happy boy or girl. <laughs> and just like all works of art, the imperfections are what help make it perfect, I guess. We'll just go with that. <laughs> so yeah, you don't get any peg holes in the feet, which is fine. But overall, this thing is beautiful. So let's kind of look at the uh, articulation, right? Because this thing obviously has a super loose leg, which is a serious problem. But with Wolverine being a guy that's generally kind of short, you might want a head that looks up a bit. And it does not do it that well, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So I wonder what he's gonna look like next to Sabretooth, because Sabretooth has to be bigger than him, right? He runs 11.5 inches, but Sabretooth runs 13 inches. So he will certainly be bigger than him, but maybe not to the scale that we all know and love from the animation. But let's continue about the continue about let's continue about the articulation so as we saw the head does do some small movements nothing quite extraordinary so it's just kind of okay in the head area the upper body is got some articulation it's nothing crazy it's got some minor movement forward and backward crunch wise but nothing to the side that you can really claim to be like a, an excellent <laughs> form of articulation the waist just seems to rotate and that's about it the arms are going to be limited by the shoulder pads, but you still get some decent range out of it. You got some rotation just above the elbow, and then you get a simple 90 degree wrist. That's the word. The wrist is on a ball joint. 
hinge thing. <laughs> so it just allows you to kind of get whatever angle you would want out of the wrist, which is nice. The legs come right off because there's something screwed up and stupid. And then you get some splits, you get some barely any kicks forward. Well, this is kind of not great. <laughs> Jubilee was awesome. This Wolverine is just kind of mediocre, in my opinion. He's got some okay knees, even though they're double jointed, his boots and stuff get in the way. And then there's no rotation down the leg. Nope, there is, I lied. So technically you're getting rotation there at the upper part of the knee. And then you get your standard hinge rocker thingy at the foot. But um, I don't know, this this leg is gonna be a serious, serious problem and posing, look, he's a, he already knows it, it hurt. Oh, come on, my leg hurts. Yeah, so overall happiness is not nearly as high as it was with Jubilee. This is just kind of like a, I'm, I'm a little bit bothered. Now, since these things were limited and exclusive and not made anymore, I don't imagine I would get any help from Mondo, but if it's an item they still have available or you have any concerns, reach out to them. Their customer service is supposed to be spectacular. So maybe if you have a problem, it's worth reaching out. This guy, I, I'm probably kind of stuck, right? I, I don't think there's another way to resolve this. Not at this point, he's just too old. But you get him into his classic pose. It does look a bit better, but obviously I'm not gonna be able to get him into this kind of like squatting pose because of his freaking leg is all messed up. But you, that's, you kind of want him, yeah, he doesn't even have the articulation that I would really want, to be honest. This is gonna be a serious uh, concern trying to get him into the posing segment, which is where we need to go now, so that we can really look at this guy and see if he's, if he's gonna be cool or not. Maybe he's cool. But let's get a good look. I mean, he, he, he legit towers, he's squatting and he's still taller than her. That's, that, that I think might truly be an issue. The Jubilee is fantastic. I highly recommend her. This Wolverine, I think you could, this is, this, is, uh, this is a bummer. He looks huge. So that is definitely a, a legit whole neck and head of taller than her. I'm jumping back into my own video because I have to say that I really, I hate this Wolverine. But if you're watching this and you're making a call based on what I'm saying, well, just consider that obviously not all of them are gonna have this awful loose leg, but all the other problems are certainly gonna be there. This is one of the first things that they've made. So everything after him was different and they're just gonna constantly get better. Jubilee is spectacular. This is not great. There's a lot of issues, the height is off. So I would say you can be confident that whatever you buy after a Wolverine is probably gonna be great, especially the newest stuff. So the Rogue and the Cyclops and Spider-Man, I'm sure are gonna be some of the best things that they've done. Just maybe reconsider on this Wolverine. I don't think it's really that good. And you know, the height is a big problem. Well, I guess, you know, let's get into the posting segment. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.